What's up guys and welcome back to Stranded Deep. We've got a big day ahead of us. We've got some big plans. We've got a full inventory of crates. We've got our raft here. We are gonna go ahead and uh, retrieve the anchor, raise the sails, grab the rudder, and we are gonna point our direction towards L Island. We've even got some aloe on, so we aren't gonna have to worry about sunburns or anything. It's gonna be an exciting day. Now, what we're gonna be doing today is we are gonna be improving this raft. Most importantly, to be able to carry more crates. So you guys know currently we are limited to the nine crates that we can carry on our person. And while that's pretty good, you guys know we're starting to kind of venture out, go to some farther away lands and islands and stuff like that. And we just, we need to be able to stay out longer. Yeah, nine crates doesn't really hold us off that long. So any more that we can have is a good thing. So uh, what we're gonna be doing is custom building a raft and kind of jerry-rigging it a little bit to be able to carry some crates. So currently, if you put a crate on the raft, it just kind of slides off. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't stop it. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be turning this three by one raft into a three by three. The middle section is not gonna have a floor on it. So you guys know, each one of these pieces has like a floaty piece on the bottom, like sticks or barrels or whatever else. And then the top has like a, a piece of wood flooring on it. If you don't put the wood flooring on the middle section, it creates kind of like a 360 degree lip. And apparently the crates can actually stay in that and they won't go flying out and sliding off. So hopefully it works. I don't know. I saw like a, a couple of, you know, YouTube videos and, and pictures on Steam about it and stuff. So I'm, I'm hoping it's legit, but we'll see what happens. We're going to have a good time doing it. Now, the reason why we're going to other islands is because we are going to be collecting the materials to make the floaty pieces. So if we take a look at our crafting here, you guys are gonna see, to be able to build a floaty wood base, it costs 14 sticks. I don't wanna go cut down that many trees. That's absolutely ridiculous. So we're gonna go back to some of the old places we visited because a lot of these actually have you know, tires and barrels and whatever else that we just never picked up. So I went through and I watched a few old videos. Uh, L Island right here has tires. Shipwreck Island has barrels. Crab Island has barrels, and then Treasure Island actually has two sets of barrels on one ship. And we never picked those up just because we didn't have a way to transport them. You can't put them in your inventory. But um, now that we actually deliberately want to like build them in the moment, I've got like a mobile, you know, building station. We've got a, a hammer. We've got cloth to be able to make a new rudder when we, uh, when we inevitably cut this thing off. We've got knives to be able to collect fibrous leaves, to be able to get lashings, to be able to tie all the stuff together. Overall, it's gonna be a, a pretty solid uh, day, I think. I'm hoping, we'll see what happens, but uh, hopefully, it, hopefully it goes to plan. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and lower this. Let's bring this in here. I'm gonna go ahead and spin her around for when we're ready to leave. We're inside of our raft right now. Okay, consider her spun. Let's go ahead and drop anchor and here we go. So we're gonna get over on the beach. Gotta watch out for this guy right here. We're gonna get over on the beach and uh, let's go ahead and let's drop this. That's gonna be our knife and stuff. Nope, shoot. I never know how these are, are organized. So here we go. We've got our sleeping bag and our hammer. I'm gonna go ahead and drop our sleeping bag. We're gonna need this hammer. I'm gonna go ahead and save since we're over here. We've got a little bit of extra uh, meat and stuff and then we've got our knife there. All right, here we go. So we're gonna go out here. I I believe our first set of tires is gonna be out on this boat. I believe it's on the front side of this boat. Let's see what we can find. Hopefully we don't have any, any shark visitors. Here they are right here. So unfortunately, like I said, there's no way to actually put these things in your inventory. So we're just gonna have to, can you like legitimately throw these things? Nice. We only need two of these. Please don't float away on me. Keep going that way. Come up, go that way. <laughs> Come on, children, I need you. Just heaving tires out here, bro. I'd be an Olympic athlete in no time. Gonna join a strongman competition. All right, so we've got this. Now what we're gonna need is we need to be able to make a lashing to, to tie these things together. So we're gonna come over here. We're Okay, Gee, dude. This island was back before we were smart and we were skinning the snake skins so we didn't have to look at them. That, I, I legitimately just jumped right there. All right, so we're gonna grab some fibrous leaves. That's two, we need four to be able to make a lashing. Call that four, looks good to me. Now we're gonna come back here. We've got our hammer in our inventory, so we should be able to make a lashing and then we should, building vehicles. Ah, you just can't quick craft it. All right, so we've got this. I'm gonna bring this over here and we're gonna start setting this up. So I think, I think we're gonna go like that. That looks good to me, solid. 
It looks like it's kind of leaning forward a little bit. I hope this thing, I hope we aren't messing things up right now, dude. That, that could be kind of bad. All right, so while we're here, I believe that's all we have on this island. There might be other stuff uh, up in some of the shipwrecks. I mean, if we see a shipwreck, we can quickly go check it out. But you guys know I'm, I'm kind of just trying to, trying to be quick here because we have limited daylight and working at night is not going to work very well. I'm going to grab some of the, the fibrous leaves while we're out here. Obviously, that's always really useful. I'm going to go ahead and drink all this and then we can refill it. Always leave the campfire better than where you found it. We've got these. I mean, technically, we could just come to some of these islands, cut down a bunch of trees, and then call that a day. But I just, I don't know, dude. I, I would rather make a cool raft out of more unique stuff than all wood. Plus, the wood, it just, like, I mean, it uses up hammers, which use up rocks that aren't our most viable resource. So, like, it's, it's, I think it's better off to do it this way. I really do. There's another snake out here, dude. Get out of here, bro. Leaving just little, like, scare traps for me. Got one more yucca plant on this island. Hit a couple more of those fibrous leaves, and then we're going to move on to the next one. So the next one we're going to is going to be Crab Islands. Crab should be, we are going counterclockwise. It should be over to our left, I believe. We were going counterclockwise. No, no, it should be to our right. It should be that way. Good thing we figured that out. That, that could be bad. So yeah, we're going to grab all these fibrous leaves. We're going to load everything back up and we're going to go do the same thing at the next islands. Unless there's a shipwreck out here. No, there's, that's pretty much the main one. I think we're good. So here we go. Let's pick this thing back up. We're going to look back and here is where we put that and the hammer. And here is where we're going to put our knife. Anywhere else is where we can store all these things. And then we're going to move on to our next island. All right, so we're going to go and grab all these. I'm hoping that this raft can sail, even though it's a little bit little bit lopsided right now. I'm going to come over here. Let's go ahead and save before we leave in case we get lost. But I am fairly certain that our next island is going to be over yonder somewhere. We can kind of sail towards home and keep home in our sights. And then when it pops into view, we can check it out. So I know I mentioned that uh, Shipwreck had some barrels on it at the start of this episode, but I think I was mistaken. I just went back and, and confirmed and they do not, at least from what I know, from what I could see in those videos. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna head straight for uh, Crab Island, the last island in the four. So we were counterclockwise. L was the third one, correct? Yeah, L was third. So it should be to our right. It should be to right there. I think, I think that's it right there, yeah. So Crab Island was the one, I think in the smaller shipwreck, we had a set of barrels that we didn't touch. And then in one of the shipwrecks, we opened up the barrels and dragged them on the beach, but didn't do anything with them because we didn't have the hammer and stuff with us. So uh, this should be good. We should get two more from that. And then we can go to the right again. We can go to Primo. And then behind Primo is going to be Treasure Island. And Treasure should have two more sets of barrels. So we can go barrel, 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 barrel. And then all we need is one for right here in the middle. And um, we should be good to go. I don't know, that that should make our uh, make our dream raft that actually lets us kind of be able to carry some more than, you know, zero crates. So it, it should be pretty good. Things are going pretty well so far. Let's keep it up. I'm trying to find the little shipwreck because I would love to at least grab the barrels from it before it, it turns nighttime. I don't know if we're going to be able to. That's, if we can't, that's not going to be good. We're just going to have to go diving for them in the night which is a little bit scary, but I think we're gonna have to do it. We're gonna lose too much time otherwise. I mean, if we can get these two sets made and put on the raft and then sailing to our next destination, get there by morning, we'll be fine. We could like chop some wood overnight and collect some some fronds and everything else, but we, we definitely at least need to have this island done and at the next island before day fall. I don't wanna spend too much time away. You guys know we recently Planted a bunch of stuff back home. I want to get those potatoes replanted so we can start getting more and more of those so we can build some, uh, you know, fuel, make some fuel to be able to build some machines and engines and everything else. But yeah, we we need um, we need the little boat on this island. I'm also honestly a little bit nervous. I mean, we've got flat, calm seas right now. What's going to happen if we have large seas and we're all like leaning forward into the water? You know, like I, I feel like if a big wave comes along and decides to really mess our day up, it's it's going to be a really, really sad day. But we'll, we'll see. That's home back there, I believe. That's L Island that we just left from. Yep. There's the little boat that we're looking for. So I'm going to sail around to that side and then we're going to want to go over to Primo which is there, I think, and then backwards to Treasure Island. There's another island there and there. Dude, it, there are so many islands in this game. I'm just, I'm trying to make sure we keep our bearings because it would be easy to get lost. 
Y'all hear the shark? The shark's here. The shark music just popped up. I don't know what's- what if the shark bumps us while we're- while we're using this thing? I have no clue what the repercussions of that would be. I feel like they probably wouldn't be good. Okay, never mind. Whew. That's- that's the- the good music going on right there. So let's go ahead and drop this. Shoot, dude. I- I have no clue where the starfish are on this island. The poisonous starfish. So we're gonna go ahead and drop all these. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up- we need our knife. Which one is our knife in? Goodness gracious. Our knife's in here. Our sleeping bag and hammer are in here, so let's go ahead and drop that. Let's go ahead and save this. Got our cloth and our, our other things in there. Let's go grab, um, let's go grab four of these to be able to make a lashing, and then we should be able to grab the barrels off of the ship over here. We're gonna have to go out, grab them, swim them in. We're gonna have to do that while it's nighttime and there are potential sharks out there. Sometimes you just gotta go for gold, man. Can't really see anything, dude. This is, this is sketchy. I, I don't like being out here at night, being completely honest. There were barrels on this, right? I promise you guys, I went back and I watched this video and there were, there were barrels on it. I just searched that entire thing, there were no barrels. Hold on a second. I don't think that's the one that we actually got the barrels from though. There should, there should be some barrels up on the front part of the island that we dragged up to like our little camp. But I, I thought we had two sets of barrels. Maybe in that episode, I saw them at the front part of the episode and then I went back and got them later. Yeah, here are the barrels that we're looking for. Well, that's okay. We're just gonna have to have to go with what we've got. So we're gonna make this. I'm gonna bring this all the way back over to the other side of the island. We're gonna attach it to our raft. Then we're gonna come in here. I think during the night time, we're gonna cut down some trees. We're gonna get all the lashings and stuff that we can, all the little fibrous leaves, and then we're gonna sail off to the next island. So that's unfortunate, dude. That is really unfortunate. I'm not the happiest camper about that. At least we're a little bit more, uh, we're a little bit more balanced here. We're still a little, little top heavy. But yeah, that, that kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. I thought we had two sets of barrels here, but that's fine. That just means we're gonna have two sets of wood that we're gonna have to make. So let me, um, let me grab, where was my, I wish you could keep these organized better. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna get out there. We're gonna cut down some trees. We're gonna grab some, some fibrous leaves and I'll see you guys when we're back on the water. So I actually have an idea here. Since we're gonna need to anyway, I know for a fact there are two sets of barrels on that ship over on Treasure Island. We might as well, instead of just collecting sticks and bringing them back to home and then using those sticks to be able to make it, let's collect sticks, make the raft, all except for two pieces, and then get more sticks and bring them home. So that way we're a little bit more efficient. We'll have more of a stockpile at home after we're done with this thing. I think that should work pretty well. We'll see what happens. I'm hoping this thing works out in general. I, I technically don't even know if this is even gonna work. So we're just, we're gonna try to keep our, our hopes up. Now, one thing I did do, which I think is kind of cool, we've got 34% durability on this ax right now. I'm gonna take this thing down until it's about uh, about done, and I brought what we need to be able to make a refined ax. I bought a, a piece of leather and a, a stone tool. And the way that works is even if your current ax is at like 1% durability, and it's about to break, you can turn it into a refined axe and it goes back to 100%, which I feel like is kind of cool. So we just have to be very careful not to overdo it and not to let this thing break, but um, we should have two axes for the price of one. See, like right now we're at 4.5% durability. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this stone tool and the leather, then we're gonna be able to quick craft a refined axe back to 100%, boom. So that's a way, I mean, stone is just, it's its really tough to come by in this game. It's, you, you get a few stones on every island. Speaking of which, there's one literally right there. Oh my goodness. Oh, never mind. That's thats a tree trunk. You gotta try to try to conserve it as much as possible. I know a lot of you guys have, I've seen the comments you guys have said that you started playing this game because you liked, liked watching me play it. So I appreciate that, man. That's awesome, but yeah. That's definitely something to keep in mind. The refined axe actually lasts longer because it takes fewer hits to be able to knock down trees. So it's definitely the better one. But if you can get two axes for the price of one, might as well do it. So I'm, I'm gonna try to be as, as efficient as possible here. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna keep collecting sticks. I'm honestly probably just gonna take down this entire island or at least as, as much as we can before daybreak. Then we're gonna build two slots on our raft. We'll have two to go. We'll be able to make those out of barrels over on Treasure Island. Also, one thing we definitely want to remember for the future is that Crab Island here is actually like Fallen Palm Island now. So if we ever need palm fronds for anything, this would be the place to come. If we ever need even, you know, coconuts for anything, this would be the place to come because they're everywhere. Something to keep in the memory bank for future episodes. Food and water are looking a little bit low here. Um, I don't know, man. I'm, I, we've got food. Unfortunately, we don't have much in terms of water, I guess. 
Since we do have a ton of coconuts around here, we could could hit these and drink them. You guys know what happens when we drink too many of these things, but we'll we'll grab, I say three. We'll we'll drink three of these coconuts and then we can kind of let our body process those. I wonder if if you do it sporadically like that. Like obviously over time you're not gonna be able to drink enough, but I wonder if that lasts longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and drink another one, drink another one, and that's all we're gonna take. Oh no, three is the number. Three is the number, that's not good. That That is that is not good, okay. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put our knife back. We, can, we can't put our hammer back yet. We've got a bunch of wood and stuff here. So what we're gonna do, what do we need to be able to make these? I think you need 14 wood and a lashing. So we're just gonna need to take back some of these. Boom, looks good. Actually, I think, I think yeah, we have four here. So we could put four back. All right, so we should be able to make two of these, two of these things. Oh, we need to make la lashings first though. Shoot, dude. We got dehydrated from drinking too many of those coconuts. That was, that was a bad move. All right, we're, we're just gonna have to move, we're gonna have to move quicker here. Uh, so we've got two lashings. We're gonna go to, uh, we need vehicles, 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 vehicles. We're gonna make a wood raft base. So we're gonna bring this out here. And like I said before, we're gonna kind of set up like a little a little three piece here. So we can go ahead and do that there. And then we're gonna make another one, another wood raft. We don't have enough, enough wood. So many, like going out and getting wood is so annoying in this game. How much do we currently have? We've got six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14. Okay, moon's going down. We're having decent time right now, but let's go ahead and make this wood raft base. We can put it in the back and now we're gonna have barrels, barrels, and then we've gotta use a bunch of wood for floors. So this thing is still not even close to done yet, but we're gonna keep on keeping on. We gotta throw our stuff back in, we gotta get to the next island. We're already, already not looking so hot. Go ahead and put our hammer in here. Uh, probably wanna pick this up and put this in somewhere. Looks good. We're already not looking super hot. Oh, you know what? We should have we should have saved before we left. Where did it go? Where's our sleeping bag? There it is, right there. All right, go ahead and drop that. Save. Pick it back up. Grab all these things. Come on, baby. We gotta go. Hopefully this thing sails. It's uh, it's looking sketchier and sketchier by the minute, but I'm hoping for the best. Let's go ahead and retrieve the anchor. Raise the sails. We've got our rudder. <laughs> this thing is so long, dude. <laughs> I hope this actually works. Otherwise, we spent an entire episode just being idiots, but it's, it's all right. I didn't even think about how, like, these are rectangular pieces, so this was gonna be so ridiculous ridiculously long, but it's all right. I'm not too worried about it. So now what we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be going, hopefully, to, to Treasure Island. We need to, home I think is that way. I think that might be Primo. This is where we could potentially get turned around, so we've gotta be safe here. No, that's home. Cause we always built our bases facing towards home. So that's home right there. That's the closest island. So this must be Primo over here. And then back behind Primo is Treasure Island. Now I don't fully remember. I hope we're going the right way, dude. I'm pretty sure this is Primo over here. And Primo should have a water filter on it to get us some water. So if we need to hang out there for a second, we can. We don't really have the time for that though because we don't want to have what happened to us earlier happen again. 7.26 a.m. Oh shoot. We don't have any aloe left. Oh man, this is this is gonna get rough, boys. We've got a shark somewhere. I can hear him. The shark music is happening. Dun 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 dun. Nope, he left. Okay, we're good. The shark music's happening again. I don't know where he is, but he's out there somewhere. Where are you at, brother? You and I are like best friends at this point, man. Can we, I, I'm not even gonna risk it. I was gonna say, can we step out there and look off the backside? This is Primo, right? That should be home. I'm fairly certain. Yeah, it's got the container over there. This is Primo, all right. So I'm gonna stop off, stop off at Primo. We're gonna grab all the lashings and everything. We're gonna drink up some water, uh, and then and then we've got to get going. I'm hope. Do we just we need enough light to be able to hit the last stop? I can't I can't keep using 14 wood per thing. Like we we need enough light to hit Treasure Island and make sure that we can can grab the barrels off of that. Otherwise, we're gonna be in some real real trouble. I don't want to be away from home for too long because we didn't. I, mean, I think our crops were fairly full, but we didn't we didn't fill them up right before we left. I didn't think we'd be gone that long, but collecting all the resources that we need for this is is definitely proving to be a bit of a task, a bit of a chore. To be honest, I'm just impressed with my forward thinking to uh, to make sure that we we set up livable habitats on each island. We would have been in trouble, man. We were at zero water. We're back up to pretty much good. I don't want to spend too much time on this island, actually. 
It would be even smarter. Let's, um, let's go, let's just keep going. We're gonna come back and get these fibrous leaves and stuff later. We'll cut down some trees, whatever else, during the nighttime when we can actually, you know, still work. But for right now, we really need to, uh, we need to get going. Here we go. Let's go ahead and drop all these. We're gonna come back, hit those yucca plants, do everything the right way. But for right now, we really need to make sure that we get to Treasure Island while it's daylight. I'm glad I just, just thought of that as well. So here we go. Back in the raft. Retrieve the anchor, set the sail, man the rudder, and off we go. This is this is Treasure Island over here. So our plan for the rest of the day, we're going to go to Treasure Island. We're going to complete this boat, at least the floaty part of it. Uh, then we're going to hit all the, the leaves and trees and stuff there. We're going to come back, hit them over here. Then we can end up going home. We'll be closest to home. It, it should be a good time. Yeah, man, things things should be good. Actually, I was... I was thinking about it. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there are two sets of barrels and a tire on this treasure island because we had shipwrecks galore. This had like three shipwrecks, I think, on it. So it may even have more than that. I don't know. We could have potentially wasted a little bit of a um, little bit of resources in terms of building those two wood ones there, but we're okay. It's 11:26 right now. I just I wish this thing was a little bit faster. We are kind of slow. It kind of takes us a while to get anywhere, but we we should be okay. Oh, hello, good sir. How are you? You like the new ship? It's more space in between me and you. I really like it that way. Oh my goodness, he just came hot at us right there. That, that was a little bit nerve wracking. He's still kind of chasing us into the shallows. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lower the sail, drop the anchor. He's, uh, he's feeling frisky today, huh? He's visited us quite a few times. Not really my favorite thing, but that's, that's okay. All right, so... Let's go ahead and set all these out. We're gonna grab, especially now that we don't have to worry about dehydrating ourselves, we're gonna grab our, what's it called, in the last one. Let's go ahead and drop this and save. Then we wanna grab our knife. We can grab a piece of cooked meat and eat that, why not? We're gonna grab our knife. We're gonna need, um, I guess we can just go grab four of these. We need eight, we need eight, because we need to build two more. So one, two, and we really probably could do this at nighttime. Four, five. Oh, we need our hammer, six. Number eight right here. All right. Uh, we need to go grab our hammer and then we need to hurry up and before it turns nighttime, I mean, we, we've got a little bit of time but not a lot. Um, it's, it's crazy how fast the sun can go down in this game. So where's that hammer? We'll grab that hammer and off we go. Please don't eat me, Mr. Shark. I see some tires up there right there. So that's perfect. Let's just grab those, throw them on the beach. And then I, I think, I think this shipwreck alone might have everything we need. I think it's also got two sets of barrels in it, which is kind of crazy. I do remember we kind of had to get pretty far out to, um, to get in it though, which makes me a bit nervous. So let me see what we've got going on in here. Those are not barrels that we can use, but these are. All right, so we've got exactly what we need here. We need three barrels, and actually, I think we may be able to grab a, a, another barrel, and then we can make a hobo stove, which I've been wanting to make for a really long time. So we've got three barrels here. Let's just go ahead and grab these, bring them in. Wish you could chuck these a little bit farther. I feel like a clown juggling or something. I just need you on land. I don't need you anywhere special. Just trying to trying to beat beat the sunset. Boom, that was a, dude, that was a solid throw right there. We had like a little, a little shot put action to it. All right, so I think there's another set of barrels here. We just need one of those and then we need two tires and we're done. Ooh, those stingrays are kind of scary sometimes. Okay, maybe, maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe it's a different shipwreck. It might be a different shipwreck. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this shot put action. You guys ready for this? got to get it in here so it's not gonna get caught on anything. Well, that didn't work. Shoot. Of course we've got a rainstorm coming in. Actually, that's not a bad thing. Now that I think about it, it's gonna water our crops for us so we don't have to worry about getting home as quickly. We still kind of have a bit of a, uh, bit of a what's it called issue, a water issue ourselves, but we should be good. All right, I'm gonna let the rain do its thing and I'll, I'll be back with you guys. Shoot, dude, this is, it's gonna take up all of our daylight though. Like it's gonna be nighttime by the time we're done with this. We're just gonna have to go to sleep, I guess. I'm gonna chase some pigs. I don't know what he's doing out here in the water. Bro, are you amphibious? I've never seen an amphibious pig before. I'm gonna get these guys. Perfect, he's stuck. We're gonna get all the fibrous leaves on this island and uh, and we, we, should, we should be good, we should be solid. All right guys, uh, good morning and welcome back. Uh, we, uh, I think we've got everything we need here. I, I think we're all good to go. I think the entire, you know, effort of this episode has led to this moment and we're gonna hope that this actually works. So uh, first things first, we are gonna go ahead and go, we are gonna craft. 
We are going to look for any type of foundation. Tire raft foundation looks good to me. We are going to walk this thing out here. Hopefully not step on any poisonous starfish. And then we are going to go ahead and put this bad boy right there. All right. Now, next up, obviously, we can't put anything here because we have our rudder. So I'm going to take our refined axe and we're going to get rid of the rudder. Makes me kind of sad, but we're going to be okay. Don't worry about it yet. Next up, we're going to come back over here. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to grab these. We're going to craft, go back to our vehicles, and we are going to craft a, a barrel base. Now, do the tires and the barrels and stuff, do they have different heights? is my question. It looks like they don't have different heights now. Okay, cool. So we're gonna put that there. Now, next up, what we're gonna do is we are gonna come in, we've gotta make some floors, and this is where the magic happens. So apparently, when you make floors, if you make floors all the way around the outside and you don't make a floor in the middle, then you're gonna be fine and you're gonna be able to, to place crates in there and they won't slide out because the lip on that floor. So we'll see how that actually works. Hopefully it does. I personally can't walk out of here, so I feel like that's a good sign. So we've got that. Then, of course, we're going to be able to, to, to make another uh, rudder. Thought ahead on this one. That would have been so bad. When we were about to leave, when I was about to start this episode, I was like, I, do I have everything I need? Oh, we're going to need a new rudder. So we've got a rudder there. We've got this thing. Hopefully that works. Hopefully we don't have any issues. So we're going to test this out, but we're not going to test it with our really useful crates and stuff over here. So I'm going to come back this way. Let's just find an empty crate. We can, we can use this one and we're going to throw this in there. And then we're also going to throw this in there. Now what we're going to do, we need our knife, which should be somewhere over here. Got it. How is it Please don't storm again. There's no way it already stormed. Don't storm on me. It li we literally had to stop working yesterday because it was storming and it's about to storm again. Are you serious right now? That's all right, dude. We're just going to go for it. I'm, I'm not too worried about it. We're going over here and we need one barrel. I want a barrel. Just a singular barrel. I don't know if it's going to be here. I'm hoping for the best and kind of expecting the worst. Oh, there's barrels here. Okay. Shoot. We're for sure going to have at least one barrel, right? Do I have it? No. Come back here. We're for sure going to keep one barrel. I would like to keep multiple, but if they get washed away in the storm, there's nothing I can do about it, dude. Not my problem. I think eventually we'd like to be able to come back here and get some more, but I'm worried about our, our major current issues first. Looks like they actually might be staying on the ship. All right, we're going to grab these other two barrels. We're going to drag them up on the beach so we don't lose them. Dude, this is so freaky. You can't get struck by lightning in this game, can you? The current's like working against us and stuff. I hope we don't get dragged out to see. Dude, this is scary. Anyway, we're going to get these up on the beach and I'll see you guys in a second for us to test out the, uh, the new raft. This barrel's about to go away. Come here. Gotcha. Oh my goodness. So now we need to remember we can come back to Treasure Island. She's got some extra barrels for us if we ever need them in the future. But we're just keeping one barrel from this so we can make a hobo stove back at home. I'm assuming you can cook more food on it. I'm not entirely sure, but we can just leave those guys there and take this back to our base. All right, I, th I think I think the storm is clearing up. So here we go. I'm, I'm gonna get ready to go. Let's go ahead and uh, let's save. Just in case anything bad happens, we are going to throw the sleeping bag in there and then we're going to pick up the rest of these things. We're going to start heading back home, but we're going to see if this works. So I'm going to grab this barrel and we are going to bring this bad boy out here. Now, obviously, in a normal situation, if we had a barrel and put it up on top of this raft, it would most definitely... Oh, oh. Okay, that's not good. Okay, that's not good. I don't know what to say. We've got to release the anchor, retrieve the anchor, and we're going to have to flip this thing back around. Holding the barrel somehow flipped the raft when we were trying to grab it. Huh! Oh, Jesus, what was that? Crab. I hope our mast isn't broken. Our sail. We grab it, run it like this, and then jump and let go. Grab it, run it like this. Jump, flip and let go. Dude. I'll be right back. This game most certainly has some weird physics sometimes. I don't think carrying a barrel is going to flip a raft when you hop up onto it, but to each their own. So here we go. Well, oh shoot. Got to get it a little bit closer. Just got to be difficult, right, game? Let me get up here. All right, we're up on our raft. We're going to grab our barrel and we're going to put it in that little guy. So ideally what we would do... In the future, when we, we can't carry all the, the things that we have on here, what we'll do is we'll drop these and we'll stack them in that. And I think we could probably get two, four, six, maybe eight, probably only six in there, but that should work because stacks of two will lock together. 
So I think, I think we're good here. Fairly certain we're good here. I think we should be able to travel with this barrel all the way back. Dude, this is a freaking behemoth of a ship now. We've got a container ship, dude. Literally, I guess a crate ship would be a better word for it. It's weird seeing that much space out in front of us to the sail, but dude, this is cool. Look at that. It's rolling around a little bit with the waves, but it's not going anywhere. Fellas, I do believe we have a great success here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to head over towards Primo over here. Home is directly behind that. Uh, we do have a little bit of daylight left. It stormed a lot. So uh, we don't have to worry about our crops back home. I'm just going to go here. I'm going to grab all the fibrous leaves. I'm going to cut down a few trees. We don't really have that much uh, usefulness left in our axe. It's about to break anyway. So I'm going to do that. Just get some bonus little things and then sail it home myself. I don't think you guys have to watch that. It's not that interesting. So anyway, new raft. Absolutely killed it. We can now take containers. I'm so excited about it, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys want to see next. There's a lot of stuff that we need to do. But, I mean, I, I think one of the biggest things is we're going to be able to take this thing out and we're going to be able to go to multiple islands. Think about that. We could have up to 15 crates on one ship to be able to, to hold stuff. Just kidding, guys. I, I figured you might want to see the uh, the end product here and we'll, we'll take it for a little test. That looks pretty good. This is honestly, like, it's not easy to get these things lined up perfectly, but I'm trying my best. Let's see if we drop that one. That, that actually worked out nicely. Gonna kind of drag it back a little bit. These things stack nicely in sets of two. I'm a little bit worried that the top layer might fall off here, but I'm not sure. Uh, let's go back. Let's save. Let's go check it. But um, I, I think we're good to go. We, we could actually fit a row of four. So we can definitely have four extra crates no matter what. Like I, I think those are going to stay in there just fine. But we might be able to have up to eight. We'll, we'll see what happens here. Dude, I can't believe it took it took so long to go and do this. But I think it's going to be worth it. Check out this behemoth, dude. I love it. All right. So let's go ahead and retrieve the anchor. Raise the sail. We're going to operate our rudder. And they look a little bit sketchy again, technically, like this wasn't supposed to be in the game. It's not like this was like meant to work this way, but it does. And uh, it looks like our crates are not moving. So we can have an additional eight crates. And what's cool is that we don't even ever have to take these off the ship. We can just leave them on there and enter each one whenever we want, which is, uh, it's gonna be super, super nice. So for quick trips, if we don't really need that much storage, this is gonna be great because we could just keep our knife and our ax and everything else out in our inventory ready to go. For trips where we're going to get resources and stuff, we're gonna have the nine crates in our inventory plus an additional eight crates here. So uh, 17 total crates, dude, this is a boss. I love it. I feel like this was very much worth it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'm going to see you guys in our next one. Peace out.